Hey guys, welcome to Tarot Time. It's me, Ruby. Um, today we're going to be doing um, month of August 2020 messages for Aquarius. Zodiac, Zodiac sign of Aquarius. Can't talk. Um, I hope everyone's doing awesome. Um, and I hope these messages can help you guys, you Aquarians out there. All right. So with Aquarius, Aquarians, I thought well, I'd like to use the Mermaid deck, Mermaid Tarot deck for you guys, already pre-shuffled, so we're going to get started with the reading for you guys. Again, um, these messages will not um, resonate with every single Aquarian out there, but for the majority, for some of you, it will. Alright, so we're going to get started. Alright, so what are the messages for Aquarius for the month of August 2020. Month of August 2020, what do they need to know? True clear messages for Aquarius, month of August 2020. Whoa, too many cards. It's a lot of cards. Alright. Month of August 2020 for Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius, month of August 2020? The Empress. I just got some of you guys might have a baby with the Empress card. Some of you guys might be expecting a baby. For the messages for Aquarius for the month of August 2028 of Pentacles came out. Just one card out, please. Spirit guides and angels, remember that. Month of August 2024, Aquarius. And seven of Pentacles. Oh my god, look what I just told you. Seven of Pentacles, and with this tarot deck, look, there's a mom and dad. They're expecting a baby. Look, see, here's the little cradle thing here, and look, the mom looks like she's pregnant, and there's the little mobile here. And I just told you that some of you guys might be expecting or actually maybe having the baby, you know, in, in August. And also, um,. Oh, strength card came out for you guys as well. Okay, also with the Empress, um, I don't know, but um, Empress Empress is a very um, you know motherly, strong motherly energy, right? Um, she gives me gives that vibe off, and I think she might also be pregnant in here too. So you got two two things, two signs of pregnancy going on. So. You guys, some of you guys might be expecting or having the baby or planning to have a baby. All right, that might be on your mind. All right, and it feels like that would it, it is a good time for that. All right, that's good. Right. Month of August, twenty twenty four, Aquarius. Ooh. Ten of Swords. Month of August 2020 for Aquarius. What do they need to know? Month of August 2020 for Aquarius. Wow, too many cards. Alright. Aquarius, what do they need to know? Spirit guides and angels, what do Aquarians need to know for the month of August 2020? Alright, the Ace of Cups is here. Alright, so the strongest energies I'm getting is actually the, the expecting of a child. And 
for some of you you are expecting that and also here the message us also here with the strength card you are trying to have a baby you need to keep that strength keep that um hope and optimism within you because some of you have been trying for a while it seems and you feel like am i getting anywhere will i get pregnant or you know will you know um you know is it a good time and you've been feeling kind of just hopeless for a while but you need to keep that strength because look we have the ace of cups here you will receive for some of you guys you will receive the blessing that you want some of you guys want that child and you see the child as a blessing some of you guys want that I feel like somebody has regret, regrets of something. Some of you guys are ready to receive. It's gonna come. But some of you are regretting something. I don't know what though. You're regretting something and you want whatever it is, to come to you. All right, let's see. Will whatever Aquarians want and all gets come to them? The Hierophant. Yeah, it'll come. Some of you guys have been waiting and you're you know, trying your best to be patient, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're, you're like researching all the things that need to be done. It also, also could be researching all the things about being a new parent and stuff like that. It will come. Keep trying to better yourself. Keep learning. Keep that knowledge growing. Keep keep continue to do that. The more you continue to do that, the more prepared and ready you will be. Some of you guys might also feel, I feel with this card, um, giving good news to people. You have good news coming into you and you're um, telling people about it. People are happy for you. Some of you feel you need to be strong for others. I just get this feeling like I can't wait, I can't wait for this to happen, I can't wait you know, what do I need to do? I need to get prepared. Like, so even the energy, keep that energy, keep manifesting it. The more you think about what you want, the more you'll possibly get it. The, honestly, guys, the strongest energy here is about pregnancy, children, expecting. That's a big energy here. I think also here, for some of you guys, if you are expecting or wanting a child or it couldn't it doesn't have to be a child either you're expecting something new in your life Ex research what I've said before research um, plan um, you know get all your facts before going into it 
be prepared. That is the big message for you guys. Be prepared for it. Alright. Let's see the love messages for you guys, for you Aquarians out there. Alright, what are the love messages for Aquarians for the month of August 2020? What are the love messages? Death card. Aquarius, Aquarius, please show me love messages for Aquarius. Love messages for Aquarius for the month of August 2020. Love messages for Aquarius month of 20 month of August 2020. Love messages for Aquarians, month of August 2020. Show us true, clear messages. What do they need to know? The love messages. Love tea for them. Ace of Pentacles. of cups all right so as I was shuffling I was thinking in my head like something's coming to an end then you get that ace of pentacles that new beginning aces are beginnings then you have the king of cups someone might be coming forward to you with this king energy king energy king of cups this is um, someone who's very mature and someone has been waiting someone um their past wasn't looking too good they didn't have the person they were thought they were looking for um they had enough of that person and that person wasn't the king of cups the person wasn't treating them right um that person was unbalanced or it could have been you capricorn you were unbalanced and that person had to leave but i'm feeling more it is the stronger energy it's more of capricorn for you guys that person you were dealing with you guys called it quits I also, this is love message, but I also keep hearing business, money related. I, I, I feel that as well. So maybe that has to do, you know, messages coming out for, you know, your business, money, finances. But it also could have to do with maybe you might find, um, you might find that your new person is maybe a business owner, business manager, someone who is keen, someone who is reliable. Some of you guys are ready to take that next step, take a serious step into the relationship. And this could also mean a serious step into the relationship which is the serious step into having a child. Someone wants to tell um, how they feel to someone and they're a little bit shy and scared. Don't be scared. Honestly, guys, if you feel something for someone, tell them. Whether they like it or not, at least you told them, right? And it is hard to tell them that it is not easy, but once you do it, you do not have it lingering in your mind like 24-7. When should I tell them? When can I tell them I want to commit? When can I tell them, you know, you're going to keep questioning that in your mind. And before you know it, it'll be too late. So don't be afraid. You know, 
you know, this King of Cups is very emotional. Feel, I feel very emotional. Let your emotions pour out. Tell them. At least you told them. And, you know, even if they say no, well, at least you have, you don't have that you know, haunting your, your, um, your thoughts the whole time. I, I really feel, guys, if you feel like, um, you need to tell someone how you feel, you need to do that. Because it can end up like this, the Ace of Pentacles. It can end up in that growing, that abundance. Alright? So there is a major stopping of a situation here, a relationship, or a marriage. Something is ending, and something is beginning, but it all comes down to you, right? Most, everything does come down to you. You have to decide. Once you pour that, that emotion out, out of the cup, and tell that person, this is going to happen. Look at that beautiful pentacle. Things are start going to start to fall in place. Alright, guys? And I also feel that Ace of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Seven of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles. And we got two Aces here. Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Once you start looking at the facts, reevaluating and letting you know what you learn and your emotions pour out you're gonna get what you want all right guys so those are the general messages and the three card love messages for you aquarians out there for the month of august 2020 we're gonna pull some angel cards out it's called ask an angel oracle deck all right we are gonna see we're gonna pull one card out for you what the angel message is for you okay What are the angel messages for Aquarius? Nope, two cards. Sorry. I let one card fall out. Angel messages for Aquarius. Month of August 2020. What do they need to know? Let's have one card fall out for them. Peace. And this is the angel, archangel. I can't pronounce, uh his name there Melshi's Melshi's deck Melshi I am so sorry guys I can't read this M E L C H I Z E D E K Melshi deck okay I guess that's how you pronounce his name <laughs> sorry I'll just show it to you guys you can read it All right, I'm gonna go into my book. This is the book that has the um, message. Um, but before that, um, yeah, I think this resonates with the cards that I just pulled out. You know, there's a peace coming in for you guys. There's prosperity coming to you guys. Your wish is coming, and it feels very like serene. It feels like ah, finally, it's coming. And you need to keep that peaceful energy. You need to keep that so that you're able to manifest that okay peace let's see all right All right, so peace, peace offers, sorry, peace occurs when we transcend the dual mind. When we see and feel the world in balance, our mind becomes still and our emotions become calm. Our insights make peace with themselves. As all things are felt and perceived in a harmonious, synchronistic dance of life. A stillness comes over us as we feel ourselves exit in an eternal space at one with God and all that is. 
There are many things that bring peace into our hearts and lives. Being in nature, having a realization, music, meditation, and yoga are among the many ways we can nurture peace within. Through peace, we feel acceptance, and through acceptance, we feel peace, which puts us in an accord with all that is. Our busy, fast-paced lives is often hard to make time to find that space that we desperately need. But in drawing this card, this is what you must do. You may be feeling chaotic, out of touch, possibly frustrated at all you see around you. It is time to take some time and space to connect with life, nature, and the God space, whatever that may mean to you. It is time for music, meditation, yoga, or dance so that you may connect to nature, both your nature and the nature of life. So, nature of life, all right? <laughs> so you can find peace. It is time to take a break from the busyness of life and put yourself back into accord with the experience of life, nature, God, and the silence of the eternal space within. All right, so yeah, there is your message, your, your angel message here. You need to keep that peace. Find time for yourself. Find time to, you know, collect your thoughts. See that hier hierophant? Collect your thoughts. You know, make sure what you are wanting is what you want and make sure whatever you want you know the facts beforehand you know how to be prepared so you're able to do what you want you know able to care for that baby if you're if you're you're wanting a baby all right um so those are the messages for aquarius for the month of august 2020 and your love messages as well and angel messages i hope these resonate with you guys um, yeah, and I hope it helps you. I hope you're all doing awesome. Um, yeah, and please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share my videos and my channel. Um, also, please, guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Um, Clara from Clear Path Guidance and Tarot, and, sh um, Joyce from Shadow Bayou Tarot with Alolanya. Go to their channel, check them out. I will put everything in the description box below. Alright, guys, bye-bye.